Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I wanted to share with you guys a few ideas I had for Mother's Day gifts for homesteading mamas. Now moms who live on a homestead are a whole different breed of mothers. Now normally if you would get your mother a piece of jewelry or a purse or some shoes or a spa day or something like that for Mother's Day, that's not quite what you would get a woman who lives on a homestead. That's just not really what we think about. So what do you get a woman who thinks more about chickens and canning supplies than she does purses or shoes? We actually don't typically give gifts on Mother's Day in our family. It's just not really something we've ever done in I think either side of our families and then now that we're married we don't really do it either. My husband will usually write me a really sweet note and from him and he'll write me one from each of the kids because they're not old enough to write yet. I will usually call each of our own mothers but normally gift giving, especially extravagant gift giving, isn't something we do on Mother's Day. But I still decided to do this video and I still I have a blog post that goes along with this that has all these ideas on the blog post if you would rather read than watch. But I decided to go ahead and do this list because I still have all these ideas of gifts that would be great ideas for Mother's Day. I still obviously love getting gifts, I mean who doesn't? And I know a lot of my other sisters in motherhood enjoy getting gifts as well. So instead of spa days and jewelry, there really needed to be a list out there of ideas for homesteading mamas. If your mother is a homesteader maybe, or your husband and you're trying to think of a gift for your wife, and she's not necessarily into a lot of the typical girly things, then this list could really come in handy. So anyway, let's get right into this list now. First thing on my list is cast iron. Everyone needs cast iron in the kitchen, particularly farmhouse kitchens, but any type of kitchen. Cast iron is so durable and it gets and it's super convenient after you get over the small learning curve because it is different than stainless steel or some of the other things. But once you learn how to use it, it is so easy, it's so non-stick, it's so easy to keep clean. I absolutely love all my cast iron. I have so many different pans and Dutch ovens. I'm a little bit obsessed with it and that's pretty much all I use to cook anymore. So of course, anything cast iron is always gonna be a great gift for any homesteading mother. The next thing on the list is a KitchenAid mixer. Now this is a quite a bit bigger of an item. A lot of the things on this list are, they range from really small, inexpensive gifts to more expensive gifts like this. I wanted there to be kind of a whole range of things so that if you're someone looking for a small gift, there's some ideas for you, and if you're looking for a big gift, there's some ideas for you. So there's gonna be kind of a mix of expensive and non-expensive gifts, but my KitchenAid mixer, I've had it for about four years now, and it is so, so nice. A lot of breads, desserts, butter, mashed potatoes, like you name it, gets made in this kitchen of mine, and all of it, pretty much is mixed with this KitchenAid mixer. So it has saved my wrists from early arthritis so much. If I had to make a list of my top 10 most essential farmhouse kitchen items, this would probably be on that list. It is really, really handy to have. And plus, is it not only really functional, it also looks really pretty on your countertop. The third thing on the list is a comfortable baby carrier. Now, of course, this being for Mother's Day, you're gonna be giving this to a mother, so if you know someone who has just had a baby or ha still has a relatively young baby, a baby carrier is so important for a mother who lives on a homestead or a farm. I would absolutely love to just be able to sit around all day and cuddle my babies, but that's not really realistic when you have a farm to care for and all the meals to make from scratch and all the other children to care for. So my solution for that is to just strap the baby to your chest so you're getting all day long snuggles while you're still getting your work done. Make sure you go check out my baby wearing playlist here on YouTube because I show how to use a lot of different types of carriers. And I, in the description box, I will link a few different types and styles of carriers that I recommend the most because I've used a lot of different ones and I have a few of my favorites in each style. So make sure you go check that out if this is something you're interested in. The next thing on the list is canning supplies. Canning season feels like it's just around the corner with gardens starting to be planted now and I'm getting really excited. And so if you know a mother who lives on a farm and she does canning, she probably needs some of this stuff. Because especially I've noticed jars and canning lids. I can pretty much always use more of those. You just keep using the lids jars break, you want to can more each year, you want to try a different canner, it's just like, it's always very exciting to get canning supplies if you're someone who does canning. There's a couple different kinds of canners that I recommend. 
My absolute dream canner that I don't have yet, I haven't been able to afford yet, is an all-American canner. They are like the top of the line, the best canners, the best pressure canners you can get. What I love about pressure canners is you can use them for water bath canning and pressure canning, so then you don't have to waste space on a water bath canning only canner. The canner I use is a Presto canner, and those are still really high quality. They're quite a bit more affordable, and I do really like how it works. I also highly recommend getting the Ball Blue Book. A set of canning tools is another great gift idea, and that's relatively inexpensive. And then also reusable canning lids. That would be absolutely so exciting for a homesteading mama to get reusable canning lids. Kind of a dream come true for a homesteader that you don't have to keep buying lids every year. The next gift idea is a dehydrator. Now I will link two different ones down below. One's like the one I haven't gotten yet, but I really want to get. It's really high quality. It is a bit more expensive, but I feel like so worth the money if you're going to get a dehydrator and use it every year. During preserving season, my dehydrator is out on the counter all the time. I use it for everything, even things that I'm canning some of. Any, like if I am not gonna get to it canning fast enough, I will just chop it all up and put it in the dehydrator. And a lot of times I actually like the dehydrated food a lot better. It actually preserves it with more nutrients than with canning. So it's a great idea for a gift for a homesteading mama because she may not have gotten into it yet and it's totally something any homesteader would be thrilled to get. I will also link a little bit more of a cheaper option. This is the one that I have. It is pretty inexpensive and I've used it for the last four years and it works great. It is, I would like it if it was a little bit bigger and it also you do have to rotate the trays around because some spots dry faster than others. It's just not the most high quality but it does work fine. The next idea on my list is an egg incubator because can you imagine how exciting it would be for a homesteader to be able to hatch their own chicks all the time? Like if I had an egg incubator, I would have way more chickens than we already have. I used to actually hatch chicks as a teenager. This was my first business, my first venture into entrepreneurship. I had a flock of Morans. I hatched all, my, all the own eggs. I dealt with customers, I sold the chicks, it was a blast. So having an egg incubator is something that's so much fun for a homesteader and especially if it's for, if it's a gift you're getting for a homesteading mother, she is going to have so much fun with this, with her kids, with their whole family. It's like, I don't know about, it, seem, it might seem like a bit of a weird gift, but me thinking about myself as a homesteader, I would be absolutely thrilled to get an incubator as a gift. My next idea is getting plants. Any plants for her garden, any herbs, that is a great idea. I'm always looking for new herbs to expand my herb garden, especially medicinal herbs, and even trees. Like, that might sound a little bit weird, but now that we're getting more land very soon, we're about to move on to a 10 acre homestead, I am dreaming of our orchard someday. So if someone got me a fruit tree as a gift, I would be thrilled. If you know a mama who lives on enough land and she's a homesteader and you know she likes fruit trees, especially if she's a canner or a preserver, that is such a fun gift. And it's so, so unique. It's something she'll have for years and years to come and she'll be able to use the fruit off of it for years and years to come. So I think that's just really kind of a unique gift that would be really special to a homesteader. My next idea is an instant pot because I am a procrastinator. I don't know if I would live without my Instant Pot because I don't always remember to get meat out of the freezer in the morning. And so it gets to the evening and I'm like, what are we gonna have for dinner? And I'm like, oh, I can put this frozen chunk of meat in the Instant Pot and it'll be done in 15 minutes. That is amazing. So for busy mothers and especially busy homesteading mothers who are trying to take care of all the animals and everything else, an Instant Pot is so handy. Another fun idea is chicken muck boots. They're these muck boots that are the cutest things ever. They have a chicken print on them. I am like, I almost died when I saw these. They're the most adorable things ever. I need a pair of these. You can tell this is like basically, basically becoming my wish list because all these things I really want to get for myself. <laughs> but especially if she loves chickens, which a lot of homesteading mamas do. I'm a little bit obsessed with chickens myself. I have way too many and as soon as we move on to more land we're going to be getting way too many more so chicken muck boots would be the coolest funniest like cutest gift you could give a homesteading mama now moving on to a couple of books these are my last two things i'm going to talk about is two different books the first one is more in the motherhood encouragement category so this is not necessarily a homesteading gift idea 
but moms need encouragement. It mother motherhood is hard and it's a lot of work all day long and so it's really nice to have I always like to have books I'm reading through that are just encouraging that remind me like this is why I'm doing this job it's an important job and just to bring me closer to God during it. So one book I highly recommend is called Mom Heart Moments by Sally Clarkson. It's kind of a little daily devotional. I absolutely love Sally Clarkson and her husband Clay Clarkson. They write the most amazing parenthood books. So I highly recommend them, any of their books, but this is the one I'm particularly talking about in this video. And then the last book is called Simple Farmhouse Life by Lisa Bass. If you guys have been around my channel much, you'll probably have heard me talk about Farmhouse on Boone here and there. Farmhouse on Boone YouTube channel is one of my favorite YouTube channels out there and she actually wrote a book which I'm so excited about. It's full of DIY projects for the all-natural handmade home. So perfect book idea for a homesteading mama or a homemaking mama, just anyone who loves DIYs or home improvement or any of that stuff. So that is actually all the things on my list. Don't forget to go check out the blog post down below. I will link it and go subscribe to my email list. But I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my list of homesteading Mother's Day gift ideas. It's a bit of a unique list, but us homesteaders are a bit of a unique group. But I hope there was something here that you were proud to give to a mother in your life. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.